IAPA is the global association for the attractions industry, and where we are right now is on day one of the IAPA Expo. The IAPA Expo is the largest gathering of global attractions industry professionals from around the world, in fact, from more than 100 countries. They all come here to the Orange County Convention Center for this week. There's more than 40,000 of them, and they come to see what's new, what's next, and what's exciting in the attractions industry. So behind me, when we go down on the show floor, you're going to see more than 1,100 companies, and they're showing everything from new technology with virtual reality to the new type of roller coaster that's going to be faster and further and cooler than ever before to your favorite foods and, and everything from new enhancements in good services, technology, and all of the above. This is the show where everybody comes together to say, what is next and what can we do for our guests back at home? All right. Thank you, Susie. So what sort of impact does the IAPA have on IAPA have on Central Florida? Like, who are some of your big partners in the area? We are very excited to have IAPA. We are very excited to have IAPA Expo here at Orlando every year. For the Orlando community alone, it means that $77 million is brought into this community because with 40,000 people who are here, they are staying in the hotels, they're going to restaurants, and they're visiting all of the attractions in the area. And then locally, too, it's not just talking about all the international folks who come here, but locally, this is where a lot of the parks and attractions say we want to share our news. So, for instance, today, SeaWorld Orlando and Busch Gardens Tampa and even Carnival Cruise Line talked about all the new things that are happening in their parks and in their ships. Next year, Carnival Cruise Line will have a ship do uh, docked at Port, Port Canaveral, and it will have the first ever roller coaster on the ship. It's called Bolt. If you've ever ridden a roller coaster on the ship, you'll be able to next spring. And then SeaWorld and Busch Gardens also announced their newest roller coaster. So there's a whole lot going on, not just globally around the world, but right here in Orlando as well. Great. So if you're in the industry, if you manufacture something or have an FEC or where else besides Orlando? I know there's an Asia and a Europe. Well, there's no one in mind that Orlando is the heart of the attractions industry, but IAPA actually puts on three global expos every year. So we do have a show each year in Asia, we have a show each year in Europe, but our largest show and the large global show that everybody really comes together for is right here in Orlando.
President of Design and Engineering here at SeaWorld Orlando, and I'm joined with Jim Shea, President of Premier Rides, and we're here to uh, talk to you about Icebreaker. So Icebreaker is SeaWorld's sixth roller coaster here in Orlando, and it is our first launch roller coaster. That's not just any launch roller coaster. It is a quadruple launch coaster with four launches on the layout. We're going to start with a unique horizontal switch track that will bring you over onto the launch track and allow us to run two trains. We'll start with a backwards launch up Florida's steepest beyond vertical drop, a 93-foot tall spike that's tilted at 100 degrees. That's beyond vertical. And after that, the fun's just getting started with three more launches. We're going to go forwards, backwards, and forwards once more, up to a top speed of 52 miles an hour as we go over an 80-foot tall twisted top hat element. And the launch track itself is special because we have an airtime hill on either side, so you're going to get airtime on every hit of that launch. That totals to 16 hits of airtime throughout the entire layout, so it's going to be a really exciting ride, keeping you out of your seat almost as much as you're in it. Once you clear that top hat, there's low to the ground twists, turns, airtime hills, and all sorts of excitement along 2,750 feet of travel distance. Now it's a really exciting ride, but it's also a family-friendly ride. With a 48-inch tall rider height requirement, it means the entire family can come along and ride with you. So SeaWorld is also proud to partner with the Alaska Sea Life Center. Alaska Sea Life Center is the premier facility in Alaska that specializes in rescue, rehabilitation, education, and research. And we're very excited to partner with this, this incredible organization. Now we are hard at work on Icebreaker out of the park. Actually just yesterday we topped off the 93 foot tall Beyond Vertical Spike. So it's coming together. There's lots of bright orange track to go look at if you go visit our park. So we are hoping you will join us in the spring of 2020 as we break the ice with Icebreaker. But today, we know what we're all here for is to see the ride vehicle, the ride vehicle that you're going to be riding on here in the spring on Icebreaker. But before we do that, I'm going to turn it over to Mr. Jim Shea to say a few words. Jim? Thank you, Brian. Thank you, everyone, for being here. We are very, very excited, very honored. Premier Rides just loves working with SeaWorld. This is our fifth project in a row, and this ride is going to be so awesome. It is going to be so awesome. You hit on all those accolades, the 16 air times. It's got bank angles beyond 90 degrees. You actually go over 3,000 feet on the track because of the multiple launches. So that's it's really fantastic. It's got We've got the rider height at 48 inches, so that's going to be awesome for families. So we are so, so excited for this. And uh, unveiling the, your, new, your new coach is, is a big deal for us. So let's, let's just do it. Beautiful. Look at that. Look at that, isn't that fantastic? So come join us, spring 2020, as we break the ice on Icebreaker. Thank you all for coming.
Oh, you better come over here. 